video, they're going to be about the Master P and his son, Romeo's Beef, that spread over. And, of course, other people done talked about it, and I'm going to jump on this, my own take on it. Uh, you know what I always say about the entertainment industry, and I say this in life in general, uh, money and family don't mix very well. There's bound to be a conflict. Unfortunately, Master P's daughter had died of an overdose, which was Romeo's sister. And with a certain past, I think a DJ Twitch or something, Master P acknowledged that, but his daughter got in kind of, it didn't get quite the same situation, so Romeo took it personal. And this ain't the first time with Master P, because, you know, a lot of situations with Master P ain't checked out. Uh, you know, he definitely helped put New Orleans hip-hop scene on the map. Obviously, No Limit was huge, and Ice Cream Man, that whole nine. However, he left a lot of lot to be desired. See, Murray's still doing time, and then go here in Louisiana, and that's been kind of like a suspect situation. There were other people who left kind of, I don't know, the Master P thing, but this is uh, pretty sad because Romeo has success a bit in his career and done different entrepreneur things, and of course, Master P's trying to come back with his food situation. And, you know, you just don't think that down-home folk, especially down-home Southern folk, would be getting aired out and this would turn into something like it has. Uh, not a good look. You hope that it can be restored. You hope that cool heads can prevail. You hope that the Master P, the Percy Miller, and the Romeo situation don't turn into what's happened with Herschel Walker and his son. You don't really want that to escalate. But you never know. You know, in that industry and that money, and then when something personal happens and how people act, there's two different sides to the coin. I'm hit and miss with Master P. I mean, I respect his hustle and what he accomplished, marginal with his app, with his music, you know. But I heard a lot of stuff about how he was funny time with his label acts and with the producers and beat makers. So I'm not surprised that he, you know, because it's sides and sides and sides, you know. And there's some things that, you know, you hear and you see things, how they unfold. But I will tell you this, you never want your personal bit, especially when you're trying to be successful father and son, etc. You don't need it to air out on this level. That's not a good look. And you need to get that family business tightened up. That need not have been head out. But I ain't mad with Romeo because that's how he felt. Bless his soul on it because he lost his sister and he's feeling that pain for real. And if you don't think his pops came correct, somebody got to say it. Somebody got to stop kissing the pinky ring or Master P or anybody that they think they're beyond being called out on. Because ain't nobody walk well, guys green or perfect and ain't nobody above being put in check. All of us that done something, we all got to be called. Especially when we're seen as heads or in positions where we're supposed to be watching out and protecting, and you come up short, sometimes you got to get your head checked proper. Please hit like, subscribe, welcome thoughts and comments, and I do respond thank you, and please share the read if you want to. Wash your hands, keep your mind clear, watch out from another, and like I said before, ain't nobody even know. That's the people provided for a son, got on the spotlight, you hit. This is family, this is business, it's personal. You got to come correct, and you ain't too far gone not to be called out on it. I'm out.